Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On November 1st, Representative Jim Bridenstine, the president's nominee to be the next administrator of NASA, appeared before the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science, and Transportation. NASA is an extraordinary agency with an extremely talented and diverse workforce. It has brought about civilization-changing events and scientific discoveries. It has inspired billions of people, and it represents what is exceptional about the United States of America. I am truly humbled by the prospect of leading this agency. Bridenstine, a pilot in the U.S. Navy Reserve and former executive director of the Tulsa Air and Space Museum and Planetarium, was elected to the U.S. Congress in 2012 to represent Oklahoma's first congressional district. If confirmed, he would become NASA's 13th administrator. NASA is evaluating how astronauts and ground crew would quickly and safely exit our Orion spacecraft in the event of an emergency on the launch pad. A test at our Johnson Space Center in Houston on October 31st used a mock-up of Orion, the new spacecraft which will launch on our Space Launch System rocket and take humans farther into the solar system than ever before. Flight and ground crew are required to exit Orion within two minutes in case of a launch pad emergency. Astronaut Jack Fisher shared imagery and experiences from his recent time in space during a November 3rd public presentation at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington. Fisher served as a flight engineer on the International Space Station's Expedition 5152 crew. He returned to Earth on September 3rd. During his 136 days in space, Fisher worked with hundreds of scientific experiments and conducted two spacewalks. Thanks to the availability of smaller, better cameras, our Mars 2020 mission will have more eyes than any rover before it. 23 cameras will help capture sweeping panoramas, reveal obstacles, study the atmosphere, and assist in science investigations. Mars 2020's camera package will also have more color and 3D imaging than the Curiosity rover including an improved stereoscopic and zoom-capable version of the Mast Cam, called Mast Cam Z. It can spot features like erosion and soil textures from as far away as the length of a soccer field. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at www.nasa.gov.